Okay, so pregnant women, here we go. These are the five things I recommend that you have at home waiting for you as soon as you get home from the hospital. Are you ready? Okay, number five, pads. Really big ones. We're talking the monsters, the over-the-night, big, ginormous pads. You're going to need them, so make sure that they are there waiting for you when you get home because, trust me, you don't want to have to ask your husband to go to Walmart and buy the biggest pads he can possibly find. Number four, granny panties. I know. And I swore I'd never wear them. I was like, oh, I'll still wear my little bikini underwear. No, granny panties are the way to go. As soon as you get home from the hospital, you're going to want big underwear to accommodate those ginormous pads that you're going to be wearing. Um, yeah, it's sad but true. And trust me, I did send my husband to Walmart and I told him, go, go get the biggest granny panties you could possibly find and bring them back to me yeah plus it had a c-section so if you have a c-section you're really tender down there and I didn't want anything touching where my incision was and you won't either if that happens with you so the higher up the underwear the better <laughs> number three pjs comfortable presentable pjs because more than likely you're going to have people coming to see the baby more than likely, you're still not going to be feeling 100%, so you're probably going to want to be in the most comfortable clothes possible. So go out and buy some really cute PJs before you have your baby that are going to be comfortable and that you'll still feel pretty in um, if you have company. Number two, a journal. Make sure you have something to keep up with all the sweet things that are happening because trust me, after sleep deprivation and all that, you're going to forget a lot of things. So keep a journal. It's really fun to go back and read what was going on, what you were thinking. Um, we've got like a funny log of how many times you pooped in a day, <laughs> you know, things like that. Because when you first come home, you want to keep up with everything and they're supposed to be fed so many times a day and all this stuff. So you want to keep it in a journal. So if you have something ready when, when you get home to use, then you'll be more likely to do it. And number one, the most important thing that you need to have at your house when you get home is help. Do not be afraid or ashamed to ask for help. You will need it, especially after your husband goes back to work. You are going to need help, and there's nothing wrong with asking for it. Ask somebody to come over and watch your baby while you take a shower. Ask somebody to come over and hang out while you take a nap. Whatever you need is what you need. So make sure you have someone or a group of people lined up to help you because you will need it. Hope this helps. Good luck with your pregnancy. Good luck with your labor. And I'm sure there'll be a few other things that you will need. But this is my top five things you will need when you get home from having your baby. <laughs> Bye.